What's the deal today, ladies and gentlemen? Cambry Schroeder, model, actress, and aspiring professional boxer with over 10 years of proven results, shares her best kept secret products behind the heights she's reached in her life. Hmm. I mean, what is she? Like 22, 23? So we're taking a dietary advice from 13 year old research. Okay. Let's see. What I eat in a day as a boxer model on vacation. Aren't all of the models boxers now? Don't they go to the same gym like the Victoria's Secret dog pound stuff? Girls, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be telling you about how I maintain my healthy lifestyle when I'm traveling. I'm training to become a professional boxer and model as you guys hopefully. You guys see why I did that thumbnail now? I think you guys get it on my journey and know that and I just went on an amazing vacation with my boyfriend from the Maldives so I want to show you what I ate in a day when I don't necessarily have all the things that I normally have at home how I'm able to enjoy life and still maintain all my goals and be consistent with the life of intense training that I have and still make progress in new environments so I'm going to show you just a day of eating and then after we're going to come back and we're going to talk about each meal and why I chose what I chose when there's lots now, am I intentionally choosing girls whose voices are getting progressively deeper and deeper, or are they just putting more estrogen in the water to mess up people's hormones? Either way, you know, usually I exaggerate about the girl's voice being deeper than mine, but uh, this one's pretty close, and I think her Adonis belt is bigger than mine too. Options to choose from. So enjoy the video, and I'll be back in a second. Sorry, yeah, I work hard, yeah, yeah, I'm bossy. Lots of powder in the range, can't stop me. Here's to the ladies of the world. I need an intro like this. Good morning, girls. We just woke up. Um, <laughs> Good morning, girls. We just woke up. <laughs> a little jet lag. We did not sleep too much. We just changed into a little beach attire. Alfonso's a little grumpy. She has more trap development than me. <laughs> Just ordered room service. I'm so excited to show you what we Maybe got. more chin development too. Hotel is next level. You guys, breakfast. This is my main breakfast. I'm gonna eat this whole plate of food. It's balanced, lots of proteins. This is what keeps- This is like the, if you wanna shit in your pants meal. Like drink a liter of green juice and then a bunch of omega-6 conventional meat. Yeah, it's better than a standard American diet, especially a vegan diet in the sense that you're getting a lot of animal protein. So at least you're giving your body the B vitamins, the protein, the saturated fat, the cholesterol, a decent amount of bioavailable nutrition so that your body, your cells can perform optimal function. That being said, the amount of omega-6 and agrochemicals due to low quality animal feed it is definitely something that takes years and years and years of damage but you know i mean if i ate this i would probably be in a coma the rest of the day uh, certainly not optimal ideal or healthy it's me super full and then i'm just gonna eat little bites of the other treats that i'm gonna show you guys like the yogurt and the granola and the fruit but this is like my main substantial plate i find that eating protein and fast is what keeps you full for a long time if you eat just lots of sugar for breakfast you tend to get hungry really quickly. I mean, yeah, if your girlfriend eats that every morning, she's definitely gonna beat you up. That's like as much food as I eat the whole day. Then again, she is like twice my size. So girls, we're gonna head to do some water sports, but we are bringing water with us no matter where we go. Who uses the word water sports? Fresh distilled water on the property, enhanced <laughs> with a bunch of minerals and very alkaline, so I'm gonna drink. Fresh distilled water with added minerals, that's very alkaline. So that might sound good, but if the water has to be distilled, that doesn't necessarily mean that it has all of the other necessary filtration, the reverse osmosis. You know, not everything is removed from the water just because it's filtered, so it could still have a lot of negative things in it. And if you're adding minerals back in, it's usually some type of synthetic laboratory chemical. That's why I like going with just regular spring water or well water. Always as much water as possible. So 
head to our excursions. We just ate breakfast. And we just I'm getting like rich girl vibes that water, doesn't do any research on nutrition. The island gives you these little bikes with your initials on it. You bike around the whole island. That's how we get for $1,000 a night. You get to ride your own bike. Plastic and anything, so it's all about taking care of the beautiful environment, which I love. I'm drinking a coconut to stay super hydrated. Get a little bit of sugar and potassium in my body so I can perform on the, on the water sport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choke to death listening to this. I mean, didn't she already eat like 3,000 calories worth of bacon and sausage? What she needs, the sugar for energy, which she spoke so negatively about. This coconut's a little different than the Thai coconuts. It's a little more salty. Thai coconuts are still a little sweeter and more creamy, which are my favorite. Baking oh. water. So for my snack, I'm eating. I mean, it's not that horrible if you omitted the nuts because they're particularly high in omega-6 and chemicals, but the coconut flakes, the cacao nibs, good source of minerals, not too high in omega-6. They do look extensively heated though, so if you went raw on this meal, it might be a little bit better, but it's not that big of a deal. What's more important is that, you know, the initial quality of the product goes organic or at least removes as many pesticides and those chemicals as possible. Walnuts and cashews are amazing forms of fat to help give you long-lasting energy. Coconuts also have potassium. Sugar <laughs> it's like you just read Google before this clip. Energy. The cow nibs are amazing when you fill with potassium, which is great for digestion and energy. I mean, chocolate's definitely not known for potassium. That's all I know. It's a perfect little balanced snack meal. Probably the energy for the day. We this is a Greek salad, all made here from on the island, all grown here. Tomatoes, bell peppers, homemade feta cheese, and lettuce. We went from carnivore to vegan? Cheese. What's the deal? This cheese is made here, and I find that unpasteurized dairy my body can tolerate. It's just the hyper-processed dairy in America that my body does not react well to, but raw, local dairy my body seems to be fine with, which is hard to find, but here they have it, so. I love to make sure that my lunch and dinners are always filled with lots of vegetables. Eat the rainbow. I mean, you would hope if they're paying this much money per night for a hotel that the food is organic, locally grown, high quality. And it's kind of weird because she'll have tidbits of good information, like she'll start talking about local raw dairy and then she'll say, eat the rainbow. So it's, it's kind of contradictory because you have you know, stuff that actually makes sense versus woo-woo nonsense. This meal overall isn't horrible. It's a lot of fiber, good for gut motility, feed the bacteria. But, you know, that much vegetable, maybe you'd have this over the course of several days, realistically, on a healthy diet. So the main entree is rice noodles, stir fry with... She's like a tank. She's eaten two or three courses for breakfast and lunch. And she was just laying around all day. We didn't see her exercise or anything. Crispy tofu and vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. From raw dairy to tofu. Not no. much more of a contrast than that. We're going to get some sushi. Always healthy. Always healthy, but always delicious. What does she look like? A, la a Like a laboratory scientist? Is she about to make all of the, the chemicals that she sells on her craft website? That's the big thing. Look at my collar right now. It's like a bib. Did her voice get body, deeper? Yeah, her body with protein. For me, I'm always trying to be strong and have lots of muscle tone. So for me, it's very important that I start my day with lots of protein and fats. And back home, I'm normally eating protein shakes, protein bowls, um, protein oats, protein pancakes. I'm always trying to get protein in the morning for breakfast. Basically, she poorly explains her diet as she did throughout the video. She doesn't say anything new. Uh, we didn't touch on the last meal too much of sushi. 
But if you guys have seen in my video, you know, is fish too toxic to eat? You'll kind of know my opinion on that. So, you know, having it once a month or some seafood a couple times a year might not be the end of the world, but it's definitely not something I would consume in large amounts consistently. But it just goes to show you that every single meal she has, she doesn't actually understand why it's good for you, why it's bad for you. I mean, she's pretty close and apparently it's good enough to convince her followers and people uh, that she can have a business off of it. But I think the first comment says enough. Big improvement from last what I eat in a day. Less diet talk, which I think is for the better. <laughs> now, now, some people might view this as constructive, but to me, it seems kind of condescending, which I think is very, very funny because she, she even liked that comment. And I mean, chocolate vegan protein powder for 50 bucks, glowing goddess, green powder, 50 bucks, de bloat, 30 bucks, which is basically a magnesium supplement that's overpriced, but. I mean, I guess she's making plenty of money. She's got uh, a bunch of other testosterone injecting clients, apparently, if they're females with abs. So that's cool. As with most of these critiques, the point is not to trust these people for two predominant reasons. One, they have absolutely no clue what they're talking about. They couldn't give you proper health or nutritional advice if they tried. Two, the amount of drugs, stuff they're doing on the side, it's definitely something not being said because she is not eating like that with that dietary knowledge without doing something. You know, she said she's trying to be a professional boxer. Every professional athlete is on copious, copious amounts of performance enhancing drugs, steroids, whatever you want to call them. So it's just the average person is very naive. They're gullible. They always think for the positive, for the better that the person has their best intention at heart. But that's really not the case. I guess if you want to make some money off a bunch of normies so you can pay for your vacation in the Maldives, this is one way to do it. Unfortunately, I'm stuck paying some Russian girls to beat me up instead of uh, going to the Maldives and having a girl do it at the exp uh, We'll save that story for another day. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that bell icon so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.